Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Windows Defender controlled folder access. So we need to protect important folders and we use controlled folder access. So controlled folder access will help us protect the valuable data from malicious apps and threats such as ransomware. Controlled folder access protects the data by checking apps against a list of known trusted apps. It is supported on Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2022, Windows 10 and Windows 11 clients. It can be turned on using the Windows Security app, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manage, Manager or Intune for managed devices. So I'll just log on to the Intune portal to show you how we can enable controlled folder access via Intune. So I will log on to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center and take it from there. So you need to log on to intune.microsoft.com in. Okay, we are here at the home screen. So once you are at the home screen, you click on uh, endpoint security here. And then you go on to attack surface reduction. This is the policy. You can create a new policy or you can edit an existing policy. Here is the configuration items that are here in this policy. We need to create when you cannot edit. So click on Windows. I want to do it for Control folder access which comes under attack surface reduction rules. Click on create. In here we need to re uh, sorry rename the policy. I just type in CFA control folder access. Under the configuration settings, we need to go to enable control folder access drop down. So look for control folder access here it is you click on you can go with the audit mode or you can uh, click on enabled I will go firstly you should always go with the audit mode it is recommended that you enable the control folder access in audit mode first to see how it will work in your company or or for the users and then you can set it to another mode such as enabled later in the later stages well to optionally add folders that should be protected you need to select control folder access protected folders and then add the folders okay files in these folders cannot be modified or deleted by untrusted applications you have to keep in mind that your default system folders are automatically protected and you can view the list of default system folders in the Windows security app on a Windows device. And to optionally add applications that should be trusted, you need to select control folder access allowed applications. Here. We'll add the allowed applications. Just after that, you'll add the assignments scope tax and then you will click on review and create now if you would want to know like how does control folder access work now control folder access works by only allowing trusting apps trusted apps to access protected folders protected folders are specified when control folder access is configured like in here we are configuring the control folder access Okay. Now, typically, commonly used folders such as those used for documents, pictures, downloads, and so on are included in the list of controlled folders. Control folders access works with a list of trusted apps. Apps that are included in the list of trusted software works as expected. Now, apps that are not included in the list are prevented from making any changes to files inside protected folders. Applications are added to the list based upon their prevalence and reputation. Apps that are highly pre 
prevalent throughout your organization and that have never displayed any behavior deemed malicious will be considered trustworthy or can be trusted now those apps are added to the list automatically apps can also be added manually through the list by using configuration manager or intune now why this controlled folder access is important because it will help us to protect our documents and information from ransomware attacks now in a ransomware attack you know your uh, files can get encrypted and held hostage now with control folder access in place a notification appears on the computer when where an app attempted to make changes to a file in a protected folder we can customize the notification Uh, with all the company details and contact information then we can also enable the rules individually to customize what techniques the feature monitors now the protected folders include common system folders and we can add more folders as well the windows system folders are protected by default as mentioned earlier which are documents pictures uh, videos music favorites and if you want to review control folder access events in the microsoft defender portal and it's it's a part of uh, alert investigation scenario as well and we can also run query microsoft defender for endpoint data by using advanced hunting and we can also review controlled folder access events in windows event viewer and if you want to view or change the list of protected folders just uh, you can use the windows security app on your windows 10 or windows 11 device you just go on to uh, the windows security app select virus and threat protection under ransomware protection select manage ransomware protection and if the control folder is turned off you will need to turn that on and then select protected folders all right i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day